it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Style Saturday. So we know I didn't have one last week. I unexpectedly had to go out of town and I didn't want to rush this video because I asked y'all two weeks ago for pictures. So I said, hey, send me some pictures of you wearing fall outfits that you really love, where you really just feel confident and cute and just love everything about your outfit. And I wanted to try to recreate those using pieces I already own. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I think I have five, four, five, six different pictures that I've picked to use for the video. So thank you to everyone that did submit photos. Now, if you're not familiar with Style Saturday, the idea is to not spend any money. So typically, I will take inspiration photos from Pinterest and recreate them using pieces I already own. I feel like it saves my wallet, it saves your wallet. It's also fun to reimagine these items that maybe you purchased with one vision in mind and it's kind of fun to see it transform and be able to be used for a wide variety of outfits. I'm having fun doing it anyways. So hopefully you enjoy this series. I will link the playlist in the description box down below. That way you can watch more if you are interested. Everything you're about to see me try on, like I mentioned, I do already own. I will try to find similar pieces and link them down below. I know sometimes Y'all do like to add new things to your wardrobe. Again, I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying, if you see something you can't live without, I will try to find these things, link them down below. Now, when you do watch this video and you feel inspired and you wanna recreate some of these looks, please do, but also use the hashtag StyleSaturdayWithTaryn. I know it's long, but it's the only hashtag that is like specifically for this series. <laughs> So when you recreate them, please use the hashtag, please tag me. I love to see them. I love to see your recreations. It also gives me more ideas. All right, let's get into the outfits. Look number one comes to us from Lisa. I will put her photo here. Thank you, Lisa, for sending in. She sent in quite a few. I want to say maybe three or four for me to choose from. So I appreciate that. This is the one that I picked because I felt like it was the most challenging and that's why this video is fun. So she's wearing red plaid. I don't own red, but I do own this blue green one from Rose Gal. So I have just styled it how she has. It's still rolled at the sleeves, but tied at the bottom. And I noticed she was wearing, it looked like a graphic tee. So I pulled this one. It says Mobile, Alabama. I felt like the color matched this green and blue plaid the best. Now it also looks like she's wearing black jeans. I don't own black straight leg or skinny jeans. So I have just put on these dark wash ones from Maurice's. I ended up keeping them after that video. And then leopard print booties. These came from a local boutique here in town called Zeal Boutique. So I loved everything about this. And then I went to put these booties on and I was like, am I about to ruin the outfit? Like it's totally out of my comfort zone. She looks so cute in it though. That I was like, we're going to do it. We're going to go for it. And I am kind of in love with this. Now, I would have thought to tuck in the t-shirt so that you couldn't see it under the plaid. But she doesn't have hers tucked in and it looked adorable. So here we go. Outfit number one. I am pleasantly surprised how much I love this. I would wear this. There's a mirror right here. I would wear this out of my house. It's almost chic. With a little bit of casual, the pop of leopard at the bottom. I mean, I love this. This is so comfortable. And I think it's perfect for people who don't really care to tuck things in. Um, because you've got this bit of t-shirt and then this. And it looks so good together. I don't mind the dark denim with it. I think it looks really cute. Here's a look at the back of my outfit. Now I can't see the back of hers, so she may very well have her t-shirt tucked in with just a little bit in the front, but this is how I have styled it. I love this. I think the leopard is really fun at the bottom. I've gotten a lot of requests too from y'all to show videos mixing patterns. I'm not really that great at it. So I think this is a good start with the plaid top and the leopard bottoms. So outfit number one, I feel like me and Lisa, we should wear this the same day. We don't live in the same town. I'm pretty sure we don't. We chat on Instagram. Um, we need to plan and like wear this the same day. 
I mean, two for two, right? This is adorable. So this next outfit is inspired by Sarah. I will put her photo here. Thank you, Sarah. She said that her version was her favorite fall outfit. So I have recreated it using these light wash Distress Skinnies from Lane Bryant. Again, it looks like she's wearing black. I don't own black. So I went with these because I felt like the light wash would look good with the colors that I have in mind. So I have this long sleeve, super lightweight V-neck gray top. I just tucked it into the front. And then this is my Bass Pro Shops men's oversized flannel. I feel like I've found already so many ways to wear this. And then just white Converse. She looks like she's wearing yellow Converse, which by the way is adorable. She's also using a red ish flannel which I don't own but I feel like I did a pretty good job of recreating it I almost threw on the green flannel again around my waist but I think this color scheme is just so pretty I love everything about this I mean when I say two for two I'm completely honest I would wear this one a hundred percent just as much as I would wear that first one. I love everything about this. I don't know what else to say about it except for, yes, I will be wearing this. Sarah, you did a great job. I feel like for free, I have a new outfit. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have to go out and buy anything to recreate her look. So it's free, pieces I already own and wearing them in ways that maybe I wouldn't. Like this big flannel, I've only styled it so far uh, wearing it. So I buttoned it up, right? I don't think I've worn it around my waist yet. I know I've worn it open and I've worn it buttoned. So this is just another cute way to wear this. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love this outfit. Okay. Great job, Sarah. Great job, Taryn. Let's move on. Next outfit is animal print. I could not do an animal print recreated look. So this look is inspired by Jane. I will put her photo here. Thank you, Jane, for submitting this. Um, Jane, we chat on Instagram as well. I feel like she knows me and that's probably why she went with animal print. Uh, she lives in Florida. So I appreciate you putting all those hot clothes on to take the picture for me. I have just put on a pair of black leggings because again, the black jeans, it's a problem. I'm realizing now I probably need to get some, but this is actually very realistic to what I would probably wear where I live. So these are black LuLaRoe leggings, these little booties. I chose the darker ones versus taupe, like in her photo, because I do have this darker toned leopard or animal print cardigan. So these are the brand Massimo. I got them years ago from Target. They have just a tiny little heel on them. This under here is actually a tank top. It's a Rue 21 high, low, super flowy tank. And then this cardigan is from Carrie Underwood's brand. I got it from Dick's Sporting Goods a couple weeks ago. I just fell in love with it. It's so pretty and warm and cozy. So I feel like I did a good job with this one too. I would wear this one out of my house. I love everything about this. It's cute with the pockets. I picked a longer cardigan because I am wearing leggings. I just think this is a Terran outfit. It's so comfortable and just, I feel almost sort of chic with the bit of heeled boot and this like wrap thing with the cardigan around my neck. I just feel very cute. Yes, I like this one too. Thank you, Jane. You did a great job. I don't own, I think I sold my other cardigan that was a more traditional leopard print style or pattern. So this is really the only one that I'm, now that I'm looking in this closet, I think this is the only one that I have um, in this pattern, but that's okay because I've styled it this way and I'm pretty sure you'll see it so much more <laughs> um, in upcoming style Saturdays, but this is a really cute look. Next outfit we have is from Leanne. I will put her photo here. Thank you, Leanne. So I don't own a black blazer either, which I'm seeing now is sort of something I probably should have as a staple. So what I've done instead, I have this black cardigan from Target. I believe the brand is Ava and Viv. And I just paired it with this plain white tee from Cotton Bay. I did tuck the front in because it is a little bit long. Here's what it looks like just straight. 
though that is very cute too now that i'm looking at it these jeans are light wash straight skinny-ish jeans from old navy and then i have paired this outfit with my leopard print steve madden pointy flats i feel like i got as close as possible to the picture it did take me quite a while to figure out what i wanted to do with this look because it does look like she's wearing more of a button-up blouse but i had this top and i thought it could be casual with the cardigan and the jeans but then kind of a little bit dressier with the flats i like this look too i like all these pieces separate so putting them together and liking them i'm not surprised i do think i prefer it tucked in like that though i think it just gives it a little bit of shape you could also throw on a cute belt here's what it looks like from the back I do think I challenged myself with this one because it's similar to the photo, but not exact. But I think that's what's fun about this whole series is, again, I didn't have to buy anything and I'm kind of um, using things and wearing them in ways that maybe I didn't see. Like this white tee under a cardigan with light wash jeans, I probably wouldn't have paired, but Leanne looked really cute, so I wanted to try and recreate it. So here we go, outfit number four. Number five is way different than the picture and probably something that you've seen me do before, but I still wanna do it because I think it's a cute outfit. And here is the final outfit. So this picture here was shared to me from a page called Blue Feather Style. So thank you for submitting the photo. I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get for that one. I don't own pants that color, that burnt, rusty orange color, but I can tell from the picture, it looks like they're joggers. So I have these black Amazon joggers. You all have seen them so many times. They're super comfortable. I am also wearing these little peep toe shoes. The brand is Naturalizer. I feel like these are pretty similar to the ones in the picture. I chose to leave on this same white cotton bay tee, and then I just threw on this little denim cropped-ish jacket. I don't remember where I got it from. I'm pretty sure it came in a subscription box. And I've chosen to front tuck the top just because it is quite a bit long. So I kind of like this. It's very chic in my opinion, because it's very casual until you get down to the shoes and then you've got a little bit of sass down there. So you can tell how much longer the top is. I do own plain, just white tops that aren't super long, but I thought this one was cute because it's got the high neck on it and I liked that aspect. So here it is with the top tucked in. I also just kind of tucked in these ends on the side and here is how long it is not tucked in. Now, if you're not someone to tuck things in, then I think that this would probably be cuter with a denim jacket that's not cropped. I do have an oversized one. Let me put that one on and see how it looks. Here we go. This one is from H&M. I did an entire video series on how to style oversized denim jackets. So here's what it looks like like this. I'm a little bit thrown off because I do feel like my look would probably look better with white sneakers just because it's a little bit casual, but I do think it's fun to throw on a bit of a heel. Her look was definitely more dressy-ish, like more like casual dressy. Mine's a little bit more casual, not so dressy, um, but here it is with the bigger denim jacket, which I think I like the bigger jacket with the shirt untucked. If the shirt is tucked, I like the cropped one. I had so much fun with this video, y'all. Thank you to everyone, like I said, for sending in your pictures and creating these looks for me to recreate. I think if you like this kind of video that maybe we'll do it again um, a little bit later, maybe into the winter, we could do some winter looks. Also, as always, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see for Style Saturday. I have done denim jackets, I've done joggers, I've done skirts, I've done dresses. What else have I done? I feel like, well, there's a whole playlist, so I will leave it linked in the description box down below. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.